Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another quick rigging tutorial. So, as you can see here, I've just got a basic, very basic OBJ uh, model uh, with a shark up here somewhere. So, let's get rid of him. Uh, I was just playing around earlier, I don't know what happened there. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to show you a simple rig for movement of the head. Um, so, you can see basically how it's done. So let's begin so first of all I'm going to go to uh, wireframe mode so I can see and then I'm going to change to side view and I'm just going to create a simple bow structure from this bit here up to the neck um, and link it to the body so we've got some movement so um, let's begin so I'm gonna select this little tool here which is my bone structure tool and wherever you start the pivot point, wherever you start the phone first joint is going to be your main hierarchy. It's going to be your main point of interest. It's going to be your main joint. So I'm going to select a joint here. I'm going to select one here. I'm going to select one at the base of the neck, middle of the neck, and the top of the neck so I can turn the head. Then I'm just going to press enter. Very, very, very simple. So I'm going to go to my perspective view and just make sure um, that that rig is actually lined up. Now, the best way to look at it is if you center your model always in the center of the grid, 98% of the time, your first sequence inside your skeleton is going to be, or inside your model, should I say, is going to be correct. So, let's go back to move, and I'll show you what I mean. So, if I go to the move tool, here, it's going to move the entire bone structure because it's your main rig. So, if I was to select this one, if I move this, it's not going to move the whole lot. Yeah, it's just going to move that particular point. So that's what we want. Okay, so if we reselect on our main joint, sorry about that. If we select on our main joint, we're going to right click and we're going to select hierarchy, right? So, and as you notice, that's all changed white, as you can see. Now, you can move these pivot points about if you wish. Um, like you like see there um, and the way you do that is if you select on this bit here you can move that pivot point by holding down the center mouse button or if you want to realign it just hold down D and then you can just move sorry about that it again. hold down D and then you can just move the bone where you want it to be placed rather than the whole the whole skeleton so you can place that bone anywhere you want in the head so to connect it to the body it's very similar to what we did or it's identical to what we did in a previous tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to right click click select uh, hierarchy then we're going to hit shift click on the body we're going to come up to this tab here skin smooth bind and then bind to skin now if correct um, all this will turn pink um, which means it's basically the bone structure is actually attached to the model so if I select this one here and get my move tool I can move the entire object now because my bone is actually attached to the skin to the actual model itself so if I go to smooth as you can see I'm ready to sort of animate the head as I see fit and obviously we've got some more movement here we've got some more movement here as you can see in the body like so, so we can make you look up so on and so on so that's basically simple rigging really um, now obviously it is time consuming you know if I was doing this properly I'd have a hell of a lot more joints hell of a lot more bones um, within this rig but for the sake of this tutorial, um, that's what we're going to look at. Now, if you want to go back to orthopedic, uh, orthopedic, your side view, um, and you want to continue your bone structure, click back on your bone, so you've got this arrow up, and then I'm going to click a bone here, bone here, bone here, bone here, then I'm going to click enter, which is giving me another bone. So now, if I basically click on this one hold shift click on that and then press P what that's done 
is that's linked all my bones together. So if I go back to perspective mode, as you can see, I've linked my bones all together, like so. Now, the problem here, obviously, is that we've already linked these bones already, okay? So obviously, it's not um, gonna be attached to the actual skeleton in itself. So what we need to do is we need to go to our main point, which is here, but because our main point is attached to that, what we need to do is select this bit here, right click, select hierarchy so it's white, like so, and then I'm gonna come up and hold shift and hopefully reattach it, and then we should be good to go with that bone. So let's select our main joint for this model. Select the lock. I'm gonna go right click, select hierarchy. So it's all white, as we can see. I'm gonna hold down shift, select my model. And then should be good to go. That should be all connected for us. So we've got um, like a nice little bone structure in place so we can do sort of our bit of animation. Um, you know, things like the beak, you know, I would always animate separately, you know, or rig separately on its own rigging system. Um, so let's go back to wireframe mode so we can see our rig. Um, and let's just hide, uh, let's go show, let's hide our, our main model. And that's basically what we're left with. This is the skeleton of the actual uh, duck itself. So we can sort of uh, play around with our skeleton um, on this. So here, as you can see, it's all rigged together. It's all connected together quite nicely. Um, and we can sort of, sort of go from there, really, and just create a perfect rig and, you know, get this going. So obviously, you know, I'd have, you know, wings, uh, movement for the wings, I'd have movement for the feet, I'd have movement for the beak, so on and so on. But that is the basic general gist of it. It's just basic rigging, really. And this is the easiest way I can basically show you guys um, how to do that. So um, I hope this has helped. Um, like I say, um, you know, the best way to do it is to um, practice with, practice with uh, shapes. Um, that's the best way to learn how to rig properly if you practice with your shape. So um, I hope this has helped and you've enjoyed the tutorial, guys. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you again. Ciao, ciao.